one's giving me pushes. <laughs> no one's pushing me on the swing. It's that kind of day today. Whoa, he's trying to stop me now. Whoa. Hey guys, I'm at the playground with my son, but I wanted to fill you in on a bunch of new updates that they announced for the Kindle Vela. So there's a lot of things that they clarified and some stuff they explained for what you can and can't do with the stories on there. And I'm gonna go through some of it right now after I get out of this tunnel. So on the Kindle Vela, you get 50% of the money used for tokens spent on your episodes. What that means is people can buy tokens in bulk from $1.99 to I think like $11.99. And the more they spend, the cheaper those tokens are. Then when the tokens are used to unlock your episodes, you get 50% of that. It equals out to not very much, to be honest. But it builds up. The problem was at the beginning, Amazon's also trying to give away a lot of free tokens, which they're doing to get readers in, which we want them to do. But those free tokens, authors were not making any money on. But now they are. Amazon announced that they are going to be adding the, I think it's the $1.99 bundle price for any of those free tokens, and it's gonna be in your monthly bonus. And that's the big thing. The monthly bonuses are starting to get bigger and bigger each month, and authors are making more and more money using the Kindle Vela platform because of those bonuses while we're all trying to bring in new readers for it. As for how the bonuses work and how much you can make on that, I think that's still something that Amazon hasn't quite announced yet how they're formulating those bonuses and giving them out to people. But it seems like they keep saying consistency is key, consistency is key. So as long as you're publishing one to three times a week, you're gonna see better results. That's what Amazon consistently keeps saying. And I know some people who had some low numbers for the month, but posted regularly, and they made a pretty good uh, bonus. So I can't give you any answers on how much that is exactly. I haven't gotten one myself yet because I just started at the end of October. I know they announced mid-month what the bonuses will be, but because I was only there for the end of the month, I don't know if I won't get one at all, or if I will, it'll be really, really small because I was just there for a week or two at the end of October. Once I do get them, I'll show it on here and we can go over what my numbers were and what my bonus was and try and come to some conclusion as to why my bonus was the price it was. Amazon also clarified that you can publish these as ebook and print books. What you have to do is 30 days after the last episode that you want to be in the book, you can then publish it there. And that's on Kindle Unlimited as well. So you just have to wait till 30 days after that last one is published. And you can still keep it on Kindle Vela. So it's really just another method for making money on the same book. You have it on Kindle Vela, you have it on ebook, you have it on print, and you have it in Kindle Unlimited. There's a lot of options there to make some money. My experience right now on the Kindle Vela is largely positive. I'm getting a lot of visibility. I've moved up quite a lot in the rankings on my different tags and my different genres. Um, that's a little tricky because I'm saying I'm getting more visibility as in I'm more towards the front pages. But right now there's not a huge audience. It's growing and it's getting bigger. And there's some people who've certainly found an audience on there. But that's the whole point of this is you try and get that visibility now, try and get towards the top and get that seniority sort of. And as the platform grows, then you're going to grow with it. So I think it's really a great time to jump in and get in on there. Will that audience come? It's a risk. You don't know. I think they will. I think Amazon's putting a lot of effort into this, and I think the authors that are on there are putting a lot of effort into this, so I really do think it's gonna grow, and I think it's gonna grow fast. But it's hard to tell. I mean, it is episodic storytelling, which isn't for everyone. It's a new venture for Amazon, and the places that have done episodic storytelling well, like Royal Road and Wattpad, they kind of have a loyal following. So those people may not wanna jump over to Amazon, and they may not wanna to buy tokens to read stories. I think for, other people who do like to buy books, they see the episodic storytelling and think, oh, I'm going to be spending a lot more money to read a novel length story, buying it episode by episode. But when you break down the token to cost ratio, that's not really going to be the case. It's going to be maybe even cheaper to read it episodically than to buy it in novel form. But I don't think people are going to see it that way because it looks like you're spending a lot. I gotta buy tokens for every chapter, every episode. That seems like a lot of money that's gonna be spent on it. But when you get $1.99, you get 200 tokens, it costs you 10 to 20 tokens per chapter. It ends up not being that much to end up reading an entire novel. 
and if you buy them in bulk, it's really not that much. You're probably gonna end up spending like $1.50, two bucks to read an entire novel. Another really great feature so far on the Kindle Vela that I found to be one of my favorite parts of publishing on there is the community that's building around it. If you go on the Facebook pages for it and things like that, all of the authors are on there, they're talking to each other, they're giving each other advice. And I know those communities exist in other publishing forums, um, the KDP forums and things like that, but this is a new community and it's building now. And you're, you can build relationships with people who are successful and are doing well with this. There's an unparalleled level of support I've seen from the other authors. And um, they all wanna make this work and they all wanna see it grow and they all wanna see you grow. So there's a lot of really great connections that you can make through that. Audrey Carlin who's the most successful person on there right now who's just killing it. She's constantly on these pages just helping out authors and giving advice, which speaks volumes about her character, by the way. She's just been incredibly helpful and talking to people and connecting with other writers. Um, in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna have an episode where I'm interviewing one of the authors who's very, very successful on the platform right now. And she was so easy to communicate with and was very excited to help out and spread the word on Kindle Vela. So I think it's a great community. And I think for no other reason, it's great to jump on there just to connect with other writers and, and meet other people who are trying to do the same thing you are, which is build a brand and get your books out there. And another mystery was just solved by Amazon too. They answered another question. So. 30 days after you publish the last episode that you want to publish into book form, you can publish it on book form and ebook and then put it on Kindle Unlimited and you can still do the five day free promotion. They're still allowing you to do that as well. So they've really made no changes to how you can publish on Amazon once you publish it on Vela. Um, so to me, that's incredible. I mean, they're, they're really taking nothing away from what I was already planning on doing. And now I have the opportunity to get it out on Vela first and build an audience that way and just have another way to get my book out there to readers. So I see it as a win-win. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited about this Vela. I know that there's a lot of people who are skeptical about it. A lot of people worry that the audience isn't going to come in. I don't see it. I think it's going to grow and grow and I think it's going to be huge. And it's a risk, sure. Maybe it's not going to pan out that way but it's not that much of a risk because I can still publish it later. Now I've talked a bit about why the Kindle Vela is great for writers but I also want to talk about why it's great for readers. This is a, a new platform Amazon's putting out. They're putting a lot of energy into it. They're giving away free tokens to start so you'll get a lot of reading in for free. When you do have to buy tokens but if you buy them in bulk it ends up being less or about the same as you would be paying for novels anyway. But the great thing about the episodic reading is you get that excitement of like you do when you're watching a television show and it's got that cliffhanger and you gotta wait a couple days to read the next chapter. But there's so many stories on there that have 20, 30 chapters already. So if you wanna just have that binge reading, you have that opportunity as well. And some of the stories on there are just amazing. Bug by Callie Chase, Chew, great stories, definitely worth checking out. Chu has one of the best openings I've ever read in a story ever. She just did a really fantastic job of sending those shivers down your spine. Those are both horror stories. That's what I like. But if you like romance, there's and the romance section is just killing it on there right now, as romance tends to do in every section because uh, romance is extremely popular. But there's, I mean, every, every kind of genre you can imagine is on there. There's some great nonfiction stories. And there's a great dystopian story called Winter's Myths on there by Gage Greenwood, which I'll put a link in the description for if you want to check that one out. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. But really, I just find the whole site fun to explore and you get the first three chapters free on every story so you can just go around check out two or three chapters of something to see if you like it and then you'll find those ones that just stick and you just want to keep on clicking and keep on reading so I think it's a really fun way to read I think it's um, a really great way to deliver stories I know that you know what pad royal wrote all of those sites um, radish they found so much success doing this so there's already a huge audience for it but I think a lot of the Amazon shoppers are used to just buying in that traditional novel format and they're not quite used to the episodic storytelling yet but I think once you get in there and check it out you're really gonna love it so I hope you do I hope you'll give it a look over um, even if you don't read mine I think that this storytelling is just growing in popularity and I think you'll find out why when you start reading those stories and start getting hooked on those episodes. Boy, I hit triple digits for my thumbs ups. Top fave in mythology, top fave in survival, top fave in action adventure, top fave in dystopian. You know what the best part is? The phone isn't even on. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.